I purchased this quilting paper and I really wanted to give it a try for you guys to see how well it works. I'm not paid no sponsor to create this video. So basically what it says, it helps stabilise any fabric, tears away clearly and easily and is perfect for paper piecing. So the directions is, is to trace your quilting pattern onto the Golden Threads quilting paper using a wash away marker pen, layer up to 15 pieces of paper with trace copy on top of pin, pinned corners to secure. Then you stitch needle punch on the machine through the stack with a large unthreaded needle, pin paper pattern to project with bumpy side up and quilt following the design. To remove the paper after quilting, gently tug the fabric on the bias and paper will break away from stitching, making it easy to tear away. Um, marking options is to rub the pattern onto fabric with a chalk filled pounce pad for quick and easy marking. Position needle punched stencils on a project and gently rub pounce pad over the holes. Design will transfer to the fabric. So you can either use a pounce, you can tear it away or you can quilt straight on. I'm going to do the design um, quilt it on and see how well that this rips away from the fabric. I'm going to be honest here, it feels rather much like the tracing paper that I actually have, the vellum paper or tracing paper. I'm hoping it's a little bit different than that, so let's try this out. So I'm going to trace my design onto this tracing paper. So I'm going to basically put the design underneath here and just chase around it. So here's our design, I'm going to cut this out. You want to leave some room so you can pin the paper to your fabric. When we create a quilt sandwich, we layer three pieces of material together. So we have the cotton fabric on top. This is going to be the top of our fabric. We have the quilt batten to create some stabilisation. And we also have the backing fabric, which is also a cotton fabric. Now we're going to take our quilting paper and we're going to place our quilting paper on top of the quilting fabric and we are going to have to pin. You know what I'm like with pinning, I don't generally like pinning but this is a time where you are going to want to pin. I'm going to pin that into place. Attaching that quilting paper down to our quilting fabric. And an edge to edge design is where one of the designs starts at one end and then finishes at the other end. And obviously when you're doing this, you're going to make sure that this is um, perfectly square and centered to all your other blocks. As you guys know, I sew using a, a baby lock sewing machine. It's a wonderful quilting machine. Comes with a great attachment of the quilting table, which extends it out. So when you're quilting, it makes it very easy. I like to personally use Glide Thread. I'm not paid or sponsored to create this video with anybody. Um, I just love this thread in particular. So I will use this thread in the top thread as well as in my bobbin area because you want to have the same weight in both the bobbin and in the top thread. Otherwise, you kind of like it creates tension issues sometimes. So just make sure that both threads are in the top and the bobbin. I personally also like to use a separate thread stand for any of these types of spools rather than put them into the sewing machine. Now I did draw up the bobbin thread so I don't have a bird's nest on the back when I get going. You basically put the needle up and down twice and then you can draw that bobbin thread up. Then you can place that needle back down into the starting position and you're ready to start free motion quilting. If you're struggling to see the design, you can always keep moving the fabric around.
for me this is now the most important part is like how easy is it to tear away this quilting paper and I need to take these tails off here so they said on the bias so on the bias is at a corner I mean all that came away pretty easily but now we have to like go in and take out these middle ones I mean it's coming away pretty easily and it's not taking my stitches out I mean obviously you're gonna have to be a little bit more gentle than what I'm being but you see this is going to take a little bit of time because the more like smaller the design is the more time it's going to be to like pick all this stuff out but at the end of the day you've got a nice design that you've um that you've done Be very careful when you're taking the quilting paper off the design because there were places where I was like scratching at it a bit and it does pull at the threads. So just an FYI if you're going to use quilting paper for your free motion quilting. But I think it actually came out really good. Let me know what you think in them comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you found this video useful. Um, let me know if you have used this quilting paper or thinking of using the quilting paper or if you use some sort of a different method. So thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.